Welcome traders to this video about creating a strategy using the extension zones and the gold market. First off, what you are seeing on the chart, I am drawing the green lines representing profit from the exact point where extension zones were created. I realize that in real life that is not going to happen. There will be slippage. However, for the purposes of this demonstration, that is what is being done. On this chart, I have basically three indicators. I have my Zone Trader Pro indicators and I have the order flow indicator, but it is only indicating extension zones and absorption. The settings I'm using are significantly higher than what I would normally use and that's because what I want to see is I only want to see areas on the chart where there is a significant amount of market orders going off and for that reason I've set the numbers to 499 and 25 on both the extension and absorption. One note about the absorption, this is an absorption area down here where you see the green box. What is very good about this strategy is that we don't see a lot of these absorption boxes. The reason that is good is that if we were seeing absorption, what would be happening is the market orders would not be moving the market in the direction that we had been expecting. In this case down here, we had a combination of both absorption and seller exhaustion. Seller exhaustion is defined as the last three levels where you see that 59 contracts were traded here. That number is reduced to 38 and reduced even further on the low at 19. What was happening here and the reason for the boxes, all of that liquidity was absorbed and the market traded higher. So the last thing we want to see on this chart are a lot of these absorption boxes. Where it's occurring right here, marking a low, that is extremely important. So the idea for this strategy is simply that when we have a created extension zone, we take the trade and the first trade at eight o'clock in the morning is extremely successful for 38 ticks. The second and the third trade, you notice that I've marked high risk here. And again, this is the Zone Trader Pro patterns telling you what is going to be a higher risk or a lower risk trading opportunity. Down here where we have the extension zone created, price was in price discovery and we were in a very strong trend. At this point right here, this is an area where we would expect to see possibly some selling. And at this point here, where this short trade kicked off, this is an area that I would consider high risk because of the likelihood of making a test of a low, either at the intermediate zone where it happened or down four or five more ticks. So each of these trades I would consider high risk and although they were profitable would not necessarily have been trades that I would have taken. After that uh, low risk entry we see that the market climbed pretty much straight up for a total of 63 ticks before that reversal. We had some profit taking to give us a 15 tick profit and then a reversal giving us another 17 tick profit. And this again could be looked at the exact same way that we looked at just now in that the market was now in price discovery to the upside and here this is our test of our high. Now some of my more eagle-eyed viewers might be saying well wait a minute here you created a red extension zone here so why didn't you go short and then have to reverse it? Well Part of the reason is that I'm using two charts here and I will explain why with the second chart. So the chart on the left is a six range chart and the chart on the right where the signal had been given is an eight range chart. 
Okay, so what is the difference? Well, we see down here, both charts do indicate that we have a POC extension buy. However, on the six range chart, we do not have the extension zone being created. And the reason that it's not being created is that it was only created over on the eight range chart because that was at the end of its range and additional volume traded at the, those same prices on the next bar. So that is why you see the extension zone there. It's really due to the closing of a bar and not necessarily representative of that price. In looking more closely at the actual order flow on the six range chart, we see that the price where the extension zone had been created was 1226.40. And while there was a preponderance of selling there, it did not reach our standard of 500%. So because of that, you can see that all the volume had traded here on this bar and thus the indication from the eight range chart is in fact not a legitimate indication or a legitimate signal it's only occurring because the bar itself is giving the sell signal after the test of a high we again have the uh, short trade here trading into a zone trader pro exhaustion trade 20 ticks down 11 ticks up a few ticks down and we have this reversal here. The reversal here takes us up 16 ticks and takes us into basically what is a wash trade where we reverse at uh, 1228.30. From 1228.30, we see we have a trade that gets us about 39 ticks where we again go into a high risk trading situation and a point and control extension sell. Price has traded much higher and in an extremely strong trend. What happens is exactly what we expect to happen and that is a reversal to minor support. At exactly minor support, we again see the buying continue. This was marked as a nine tick loss. From there, the buying does continue and is again strong for another 34 ticks. This sell signal takes us down 21. The next buy signal takes us up another 40. The next sell signal takes us down another 40. We have a small buy here which nets us 7 ticks. And then we end the day with a 34 tick sell off. And that is a total of 386 ticks on 19 trades. Even if you had slippage of three or four ticks on 19 trades, I still think that a day doing 300 ticks in the gold market would be an extremely exceptional day that you'd want to tell your friends about. You might also be wondering, was this day just cherry picked? And the answer would be no. I randomly picked this day and started plotting the trades. If you're interested in seeing this on today's chart, whatever today is when you're watching this video, please feel free to give me a call and we can go over it. Thank you very much.